Would you like to be able to heal the world, to heal the world of famine and hunger of all kinds and the poverty that is in so, exists in so many nations and you know, problems around the world, all the wars and everything? How can we go about doing that more? Doing more about that and healing more of those problems and finding more solutions. Flowing more joy and love in our lives. You know, maybe we don't, we are saying I'd like to have more joy and all, but I don't see the reason for gaining more than I just need for myself. You know, once I'm joyful and happy, what is the need to keep praying for more joy and more love if I've got love in my family and in my life and, and uh, basically everyone loves each other and everything's going good? What is the reason for to continue to pray for more and more love and to ask God if there's love that I don't know about, if there's a, a, a amount of love that I don't know about, or if there's an increase in love that I can get that I don't now know about. Or a cre an increase in joy that I don't know now. I don't now know about. I am not now aware of. Maybe I can increase my joy in a way that will add to finding answers and solutions to the world. That will increase the healing of the world. And this is true. Uh, the amount of love that we flow in our lives and, and uh, the amount of joy that we experience and flow out to others does go out and affect the whole world in some extent. It does change things to a certain extent. <clears throat> and so we ask ourselves, how do we get that joy and love which will actually begin to flow out to the world and actually change the whole world? Not just the world right around us, but will actually be big enough to change the whole world, you know. And I mean, you know, you could support more missionaries. You could have more joy in your life to take part in events around the world and all. You know, that's just one example. But just the sheer fact of of uh, just letting your cup overflow with joy more often. <clears throat> just doing that, just the act of doing that will help some. And just the act of praying for more love. You know, even if it doesn't result in you going on the mission field or doesn't result in you actually giving more money to missionaries and everything, just the fact that you're increasing your love for the world it, it will add some to the healing of the world and so it's all important it's it's all important that we just uh, that we see it that way and that we see that there's ever reason in the world to keep adding to our love to keep adding to our joy it's not just because because uh, we want to feel better ourselves alone we say well i'm all right you know right now you know and i don't have time to pray so uh too tired to pray, whatever, and so, you know, I'm basically, all right, I'm feeling a lot of love right now, I'm feeling a lot, of, a lot of joy, and so maybe, you know, I can wait to another time, and maybe I won't be feeling so much, and I can pray then, uh, but actually, it's, there's more to it than just you yourself, you need to always be praying for more joy, even if you don't feel the need of it, you need to be praying for more love, even though you feel like you've got plenty of it in your life already, pray for more love, to shed abroad, you know, it says the love, will, and that the love may shed abroad in our hearts, may be shed abroad in our hearts, the joy may be joy unspeakable and full of glory, and it'll shed abroad in our life, it'll flow out like rivers of living water, and all of this affects the environment, affects the atmosphere, you know, a lot of reasons why we have such unusual weather and tornadoes and hurricanes and everything like that, uh, has to do somewhat with people, you know, being frustrated and full of anxiety and weary and fighting each other and everything else and not having enough love, not expressing enough love, not expressing enough joy. And, you know, in these days, you know, people just don't have the love and the joy 
that they used to have, and, and that does affect the atmosphere somewhat, but even more so. To have that love and joy increasing all the time will spill over and even help the problem of hunger and even help the problem of war in the country. You know, it's hard to believe, but when people in other countries in war zones or hot spots find themselves full of anxiety and worry and fear, then their love wanes and they can't see a, a lot of love for the world. They're not really flowing a lot of, world of love and joy. Maybe some of them, the countries don't even, that's not even in their maybe religion or their philosophy that really, that they really should love the world like God, like Jesus did, and like God did when he said, I, for God so loved the world that he only gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth on him should not perish but have everlasting life. Maybe a lot of the countries, some, maybe there's a few countries that don't understand what that verse means uh, as a whole. The majority of the people may not even understand what that means. And so they're not flowing that love and joy out into their country the way they should. And so they're not healing their country. They're not putting their country on a lighthouse the way they should. And so we have to, co those of us who understand that verse, have to compensate for those who don't. And that's just like in our own city, our own group, our own people, our, our own nation, or the world. You know, we have to see to it that we overcompensate some to compensate for those who just do not understand or see or under, know why God loved the world so much. So it, it, there's every a reason for it. And the good thing about it is, is that it serves to heal us. We may be doing all right. We may be full of health right now, doing well and everything. But in the future, you know, problems can develop. Diseases can develop and all like that in the future. But this, flowing this love and increasing it all the time, flowing this joy and increasing it all the time will prevent future illnesses. It's just a simple fact that you embrace your body in the amount of love you have for the world and for people. And you embrace your body with the amount of joy you have minute to minute. The joy lifts you up above anxiety and worry. Per Bible teaches perfect love casts out fear. And when you get rid of that fear, then you get rid of the anxiety and the stress and the strain, which is so instrumental in, in causing a disease formation to start in the first, first place and then to keep exacerbating them as the days go by. But casting out that fear gets rid of all that stress and strain. And so it does add to your future healing power and your future, the future natural healing of your body. And it does add the more and more you increase your capacity to love, and the more and more you increase your capacity for joy, the more healing power begins to flow through you. And flow not only out of you, if it flows out of you, it's got to flow in you. Everything that flows out of you is also at the same time flowing in. So when you say, I love this particular country of the world so much that I'm either going to go as a missionary or I am going to send a lot of money over there to the missionaries that are on that field. You know, I have uh, uh, so much love for such and such country, you know, that I'm going to send as much money as I can because I want to express my love. That love flows out through you and heals not only people, you know, in that country and the missionaries there and everything, but also puts healing power and virtue into your own body to begin to heal you, prevent diseases, stop the exacerbation of diseases that you're already exacerbating. And the joy that you have in giving, more joy, you know, every time the Bible says something like, it's more blessed to give than to receive, it's, there's more than just that temporal present, just that present second of joy and blessing to be received. It is also, 
It also taps into a law and a principle of the cosmos and of the universe that says that certain wonderful things are going to happen throughout your body, throughout your soul, throughout your mind, throughout your whole world around you. It affects everything. Every time there's a principle, every time there's a promise, it means also, it not only means happiness and joy, it also means health to your body. And so by you realizing that it is more blessed to give than to receive, and uh, doing more giving, that is embracing your body in love, and embracing your body in the joy you got from giving, and all of that is healing you. All that is helping to anoint you as a healer, to be a better healer. You know, you you give, you get the spirit of giving. That that helps you to be a better healer. That helps you to be a better lighthouse for drawing people to God. And all of those things. And we just so I just want to pray for you now. You know, you're 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 wanting the anointing of God. I can feel it. You say, I'd like to have the anointing of God that I could give more. I have, I'd like to have the anointing of God that I could do more. I'd like to have the anointing of God that I could heal more people, that I could be healed of myself. And I'd just like to generally have an anointing for joy and peace and happiness in my life. And so I'm going to pray for you now that you'll get that blessed anointing from Jesus. Our Lord, blessed Lord Jesus, our blessed Father, Oh, precious Father, we pray in the name of the Holy Child Jesus, the Holy Jesus. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ that you would lift people up and, and pour out that anointing. Give them a double anointing. Give them a double blessing of the Holy Spirit right now. And just let them just break forth in joy and great. Just let the joy flow to overflowing. Let the healing power flow to overflowing. Let their love just to be increased and enlarged in their territory that they're able to love just increases in a mighty way. We just pray you would heal them of any disease that they have. Heal them of any lack of joy. Heal them of any depression or anxiety or worry right now. In the name of thy blessed Son, Jesus Christ, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen and amen and amen, amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And I just pray that that will go. Praise the Lord right now that that will be, that will happen for you.